fixed properly now I am going to make a track so I have to surgical strike on the pin I have to see very closely so, so here is the only tiny point I have got and from here to pin number whatever the pin number will be I have to connect it anyhow because uh, if I do not connect it maybe it could cause to not program the IO if it is the part of the EC bias and, uh, to program the AC bias the controller need to get the proper voltage the proper signal reset so let me connect so first of all I should begin it from here so let me use some paste on this pin and let me drop the wire first okay and uh, I have to target that only pin where I have to connect very carefully you have to work so it has come together now not done let me try once again in one attempt you have to connect it now it is done now you can see let me give you a close look so I think uh, it is wonderful but you have to remember one thing is I have cut it so it should not go anywhere else so just move it back okay so now let me check because the DC light was not uh, appearing on the DC jack which uh, in which is the clear cut indication of uh, LDO appearance in the motherboard so now let me inject it at least uh, I should get the DC jack light that is the DC input indication as well as LDO indication now still the condition is same as you can see the light is not available now let me check once again that uh, the problem which I was having on the motherboard is the same no now you can see here that uh, my one pin was ground earlier and also it was giving me the 4 ohm but now the situation has changed it is giving me a uh, 62 or something kilo ohm it is around 2 to 3 kilo ohm okay so the shorting has gone it is quite uh, clear now let me check the requirement of the 3.3 and 5 volt regulator now I need to open the schematic then only I can program and one more thing I need to get the LDO voltage on this point here I am not having the LDO voltage so let me clear one thing do we have the 19 volt in the motherboard so let us check any of the high drive so I, this is the area of high drive now you see something happened and you, this started now see sometime what is happening when I pressing this point so very unique thing when I am pressing here and uh, we are getting voltage and uh, let me check it once again now it is available now so what is happening as I told you there are the so many corrosion in area in the motherboard water logged now you can see this point too much corrosion area so anything could be happen you cannot be pre minded at the time while you are repairing that I have done the same case before so the same amount of uh, problem I will receive again and again never that is why the the process of learning logic is very much helpful to you because you know that what you are have to get fast you have to get fast your sensing area after the sensing register you have to get the the DC in voltage if the DC in voltage is appeared then you have to get the 3.3 LDO now you see a very uh, unique thing that uh, instead of 3.3 uh, volt we are getting here 4.3 volt so that is also very surprising thing and uh, it should not be over here so let me open the schematic so that the concept would be more clear now you can see that uh, this is our 3.3 and 5 volt area and uh, as you can see that RT8243 as I was saying you and uh, on the IC it is written 8A is equal to something so also you can find the schematic particular schematic of uh, by the name of RT8243 
and uh, as you can see that uh, VIN first of all you have to check as we have discussed in, in our uh, and as you have gone through the Dildar sir uh, 3.3 and 5 volt section if you have not seen that video you go first and see the requirement of 3.3 and 5 volt S5 requirements. So here VIN I will check then I need to get the 5 volt LDO first then second I have to get LDO 3. So let us come one by one check and get it confirmed. So this is the pin number 1 this is the white marking and uh, also there is the one point on, on this side it indicates that this is the pin number 1 and anti clock you have to count U type you have to count. So 1 to 5, 5, 5, 10 and 11 is VIN. So 20 volt I am expected to get as I am getting it. Now let us check pin number 14. So pin number 14 is is 5 volt and what is this it is 6.17 volt so it is not be rather than 5.5 uh, volt so here we are getting the 6.70 volt this is uh, the problem and uh, let us move forward let us check the 3.3 volt and uh, confirm it so here it is instead of 3.3 volt it is giving me 4.3 volt that is also not the stable and not right condition. What we need to do here uh, first of all I have to confirm it. So this is what you are learning today how we confirm it this is the point which will tell you that what is the root cause of the problem. This is the trick you are getting uh, you are learning today uh, in this problem what can you do you can replace the IC uh, as I am also having the IC for the changing. But actually before changing it what I am going to do I have to bifurcate this area. This particular area I have to bifurcate PJ3301, PJ301 this one, this one is dedicated for to transmit 3.3 volt to 3.3 volt VL. Now you can see that 3.3 volt VLP to 3.3 VL and also 5 volt VLP to 5 volt VL. So, this is the transition area and uh, I have to check that maybe something is gone wrong and uh, the reverse current is adding in the uh, LDO area. So, that is what I have to conclude here that uh, by isolating this this particular PJ area I can uh, I can make sure that the the 3.3 area is having problem or the onwards area is having problem. So now let us come and clean the area. So what I am going to do the both PJ I am going to clean and uh, this is very a uh, good thing if I find PJ on the motherboard and uh, it helps me to repair because I can isolate the uh, problematic area. And if I get the same situation then 100 percent my 3.3 and 5 volt regulator is faulty. Now uh, the same situation no LDO but why because we are not getting the voltage on the controller IO. Now let us check you just do not have to care about that you have to make sure that you are getting the 19 volt uh, DC in voltage you are getting here and now you have to check 14 number pin first because the 5 volt generate first. Now you see still you are getting 6.28 volt and on the pin number 15 you are getting the same. So 100 percent sure that 3.3 and 5 volt regulator gone faulty you are you have to replace the IC ok. Now let us come and replace it. So, sometime uh, in initial state uh, as you have seen that uh, sometime uh, the laptop uh, light was uh, turning on and sometime it was not turning on just because of the misbehaving of 3.3 and 5 volt regulator. So you have to replace it. So I have removed this one bad one and uh, I have to make it sure the pin number 1. So it is the pin number 1. And uh, what is the good thing about the uh, taken out IC from the motherboard you have not to fix you have not to clean it 
with the iron but the new IC always you should clean it uh, with the soldering iron so that the pin because this is the QFM pin quad flat with no leads so you will get difficult to fix it unless or until you clean it the surface you would not be able to fix it properly now I have connected it again I have replaced the IC and I have connected that PJ the power jumper chip now let me do the same thing the light appears let me ampere also you can see 0 0.0 9 because what is what does it mean let me tell you one thing this is what we were talking about in the video section where the I was telling you about the suspend voltage as soon as I inject it it is showing me 18 and now it has uh, 0 0.09 it indicates me voltage is going in the suspend mode so th that is a good sign of the motherboard ok so now you have to check the 15 let me check 15 3.3 volt it is proper now let me check 5 volt on the pin number 14 now you can see 5.13 maximum voltage you can achieve on this pin 5.5 maximum even that is also a problem a kind of problem of RTC but that could be happen I have experience of this so now you can say that your 3.3 and 5 volt area is quite fine and now you are getting this voltage absolutely right 3.3 volt on the controller area and the light is glowing just because of that you are getting the voltage on your IO the LDO voltage has reached to the controller IO that is why consequently you are getting the light on the DC jack so sometime earlier you have seen that it was fluctuating sometime it was glowing and some, sometime the light was missing and there are the various, various types of problem comes uh, due to this uh, light section like light on off uh, on off uh, on off if this happens so you just check the W reset or you can say it EC reset signal which could be reason of that problem or something is leaky because leakage caused the ripple on the signal ok so that could be the reason sometimes some, something is short something is leaky that could be reason of on on off so now let me try to turn it on because as of now I have not reprogrammed the SIO but let me check what is the situation now you see something goes wrong it is on is still on but it takes too much load you see here once again now it takes load earlier it took uh, 2 ampere load and then off now you see what types of load it is taking now you have seen that too much ampere just because of EC is not programmed or maybe there is a someone else program inside this IO so let me reprogram it so till now you have seen that uh, how we have uh, troubleshoot this problem and uh, if you come across with the same amount of problem you can take according step as you have gone through the theoretical and practical videos now let us see in the next video that how to uh, program it then I will conclude the all session.